hello friends welcome to unity 3d teacher tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to see how to create a character for unity 3d so we have a have some uh, editor or plugin you can say whatever you can say it's like a guide for us to make a character people like us who is a coder who like to make a characters without the help of a 3d artist so it's like a gift for us so let's see how to for example if you have asa store you can be able to see in asa store we have some characters over here where is that asa store okay i'm sorry i have a little bit cold so if i if i make some okay if i make some cough in between the videos i'm apologize for that so we have a lot of characters over here if you go for i don't like new editor i mean, mean uh, new as a store uh, let's go for old one it will be great so you can see a lot of characters available over here but there will be a lot of paid one we can't able to get customization for us so to solve this problem i'm going to teach you how to create a character which you like to have which you like in have your newer mind so search for Adobe Fuse. So Adobe Fuse is a nice feature to create a character. It's like a plugin provided by Adobe. It's a free one. You don't want to pay anything. So right now it's free, free to use. So let's download that package. I already downloaded. So this is Adobe Fuse. So let's create a new model for example. So I'm going to teach how to use this out of fuse. So let's create uh, maybe police or you can say cop, whatever. I'm going to create one cop using out of fuse. So for my empty project. So let's create a head first. So using this out of fuse, you are not going to make any designs or something. You don't want to worry. You want to you don't want to worry about whether uh, you don't know how to make a shapes or not. nothing there will be a lot of predefined shapes available for each and every parts of your character body so you can ask me can I create an animal no it's out of use is only to make character kind of steps only humanoid skeleton parts type of stuff so you can able to create I think you got it uh, what I'm trying to say only a uh, skeleton parts you can able to make like male or female that is possible you can't able to create like vehicles or some stuff right now only out of providing this kind of stuff for us so you can make either male or female or something like zombies whatever you can able to make so let's create a cop now for example so there will be a lot of predefined edge provided by fuse so let's get one face similar to cough police face okay i got it it's look like just change it off i'm sorry for that Let me start from my base one more time. So let's have this character. Male fit A. Okay. Again, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Just missing that little bit. Missing on that. Okay, let's have this male character. And hold on a file. The character should be low. After that can able to see this is a character you can able to rotate and see how the character look like in the xy and z axis so it was a nice thing so next we are going to choose a body for your character so i am going to pick this is similar like a cop police should have this kind of a body so let's have leg for that let's have a male scan male fit a hold on a while and then hand should be a little bit white towards a female sorry for that 
meal figure okay after it's loaded everything has been done if you like to make again you can able to change so like this okay you can able to change again if you like to change i don't like to change everything is okay for me so next to go to customization in this customization we are going to customize this character regarding our uh, uh, regarding our target of the creativity which we like to make so i am going to make biceps little bit higher for him and then the triceps so you can see where it's going to change uh, you can able to check if you choose over here you can able to see our arms so by selecting this icon you can able to place over here and check where you would like to make a particular things so this was a great thing so little bit higher arm down up forearm and then the long and so everything will be ticked over here so i like to have triceps a little bit higher okay so let's go to face so face is like that so i like i like to make not a angry no this won't work awaken no i like to make my polish should be a little bit happy so this was okay it should be and then cross eye no this this was not a very great thing maybe mouth open no it's similar like zombie don't work maybe this was okay i think next we go for head we can choose a uh, eyebrow so this part has been changed so let's if you like, don't like to make uh, everything tweak you can choose randomization oh i should delete this out okay i don't like to make and then legs okay feet feet type and then knees to be bigger for a police like should be this was okay and then teeth there is no issue about this because i close the teeth and then back in something like that muscles and then but chest you can zoom it and you can see that you can able to zoom and see how you look like okay this was okay maybe we can try similar like block block listener okay this was great that's it next go for clothing everything has been done in this exact customization so let's go for clothing i am looking for similar kind of cop police okay we can have this one let's zoom out a little bit okay let's go for bottom yeah yeah okay this was perfect shoes no oh, it's like a casual maybe a bit like i'm looking for a professional kind of stuff okay this was okay and then hair oh i'm sorry this was for women it should be a, it should be a man Okay, this is okay.
So let's say choose act for a cop. Okay, this was okay, I think. No, it looked like a okay. Perfect. It's saying police cop. We don't like to change and then let's see choose a high wear cursor. Oh, he looks great. Beards small. Clothes, yes, I need that similar kind of stuff. Okay. No clothes. Sure, this was okay. Mask, no. So everything is okay. You can see a finalized output. If you like to make any changes, you can go over here and choose it. So maybe I like to make this instead of this happy face. Goofy. No. This was okay, cocky. Okay, this was great. So everything has been done perfect. So, so this is the output we got. We can you can able to zoom in and zoom out and check the status of the each part of your body and the layers. What we done in fuse and you can able to feel how you got the output. So that's it so now I'm going to export my character so export model as OPJ so there will be a lot of options you can choose which one you like to make I don't like to pack everything let's make this like this let's have cop and that police object model yeah so please wait for the project to export so export has been done so minimize it and go for unity so go to the file where we exported so this is a file police object model so drag and drop over here so the file has been imported so you can find police object model here drag and drop over here I'm sorry okay. So we have a model here. So it looks like a little bit big in the game view. So we so instead of doing like this kind of stuff, so so let's have result and see whether we got everything. Okay. So material is not imported I think material has been done maybe so calculate some easy so maybe we will try to do one more time fuse Let's go to document and delete post up maybe we will try to pack export model pack textures on UV pack map size 1024 you can choose how much size you need for textures and then click ok So wait for the file to be exported. Yeah, it's done. So we got everything packed here. Let's see. Now it's work fine. Drag and drop here. Yeah. So packing will work will working perfectly. So try to do while doing export, try to make sure that while doing export, make sure that you check mark this. Okay. 
so packing is nothing but it will be mac live view map everything will be clunched in one texture so you can choose this is a 1024 2024 you can choose i think i picked 2202k okay so this is a character and then the next thing is you don't drag like this scale over here so it will you lose the quality of the character so instead of that choose select and go to the matter and choose scale factor revert Ch so choose model click select choose scale factor i'm trying to make 0.3d 33 and i apply let's see how the character or oh, still a little bit bigger so let's add 10 10 percentage because why because it's a huge means out of don't know how much size you require so you want to tweak over here so it's in your hand so i want to make 0 6 5 will be okay then. okay this was great so like this you want to do that do the size for a scale factor while inputting model so we have everything perfect over here what we have got what we have done in Mixamo fuse, I mean other fuse, it has been reflected over inside the unity without any problem. So you can be able to switch to Mixamo and you can be able to make a rigging for a character to add animation. In next video, in later on video we are going to see how to do that. So not in this video. So, so in this way you can be able to create a models which you like to make in the form of your creativity without any 3d artist or uh, without getting others from as a store so some people will like to do this kind of stuff own creativity you can able to make you can create male female zombies or any kind of character stuff so humanoid later stuff with this with this unit using some of fuse it was a nice feature for us for a unity for a most probably for developers because artists will make using a my and everything but we can't able to use that kind of stuff that's why we got this kind of tools will be helpful for us so this is it so thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos in later on video we are going we i'll teach you how to make rigging for this character to use it for a animator for your